Hey guys, my name is Mark Maniac, and today I'm going to show you guys how to play older games on a Windows 10 computer. Now, let's paint the picture here. Your computer is brand new, brand new motherboard, brand new uh, processor, RAM, brand new sweet ass graphics card, and you're thinking to yourself, hmm, I might want to play some older games. So, there is a f there's a thing about older games in Windows 10. Now this doesn't work with older games of Win uh, older versions of Windows like Windows 8.1 or I, d I believe you can still play them on Windows 7. So it, it has become an issue in uh, Windows 8 and Microsoft actually resolved that in Windows 10. Now the thing is older games like Need for Speed or Grand Theft Auto, they do rely on an older rendering technique called DirectX or Direct Play as it's called in Windows. Older techniques that uh, make things appear on your screen. Uh, today we've got like DirectX 12 which is pretty different from what Direct DirectX 8 and 9 were. And of course you've got Vulkan which is a uh, really new technique on uh, how to show th stuff on your screens it's it's better suited for bigger resolutions higher frequencies and all that kind of technical stuff so i'm going to uh, show you an example of what i mean and by clicking on my desktop twice all my icons come back now i've got window or oh, what am i seeing about windows never mind what I've got here installed is Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Now that's a great game and it's not actually playable on Windows 10 just yet. So if I click it, um, Steam has to recognize that it's going to be started. And right in Goku's face here, there is this message saying Grand Theft Auto VC Vice City requires at least DirectX version 8.1. Well, you're thinking to yourself, but at least 8.1 and I've got 12 well there's a difference between the older versions of DirectX and the newer DirectX 12 there's been some changes in how uh, direct play is being processed by your graphics card so in order to make this happen you have to do the following thing now bear in mind that my computer is in Dutch because I am Dutch um, you go to your start menu and you just type in control panel. This is called Configuratieschirm in Dutch, but control panel. Then uh, make sure that the uh, the thing here is set to category, not big or small uh, things, just category. Then go to programs and remove program. Now it, it doesn't say it here because it's Dutch, but there is a way to um, to just look at the pictures and you will understand. This is a list of programs that are installed on my computer um, and the thing that we want to go for is the Windows uh, parts and I don't know how to call this in English but click it and you get this list and these are Windows um, well Windows things just a thing of that's built into Windows is Internet Explorer 11 and so forth. There's yeah, there is some stuff that is turned on and some stuff that's not turned on. Now, in the Dutch version of this window that you see here, there is a thing called oude onderdelen, and that will that means old parts or old things in my, uh, Minecraft, dude, <laughs> in Windows. So if I click this plus here, it says Direct Play. Hmm, now that's interesting because. Direct Play, this is the old way of showing games on Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows Vista. And you're going to click this. Well, if you click this, it's going to not check this. So you have to click this one and it's going to check both of them. Now, as soon as you click OK, it's going to uh, apply all the changes that you did. Click Close. And you can close this window again. Now, if I start... Uh, Vice City right now since direct play is enabled again so you don't have to install anything extra it's already built into Windows 10 now be uh, assured that you're using Windows 10 not Windows 8 
and it should start but did I click it right did I yeah I think so so let's see what is this going to be like steam and there we go there's a the rockstar logo and we're gonna click through this because I don't want to get any copyright infringements because this is rockstar content now I'm gonna quit game again I click yes so this is a way to get older games to work now the only game thus far I've seen um, uh, this work for is Grand Theft Auto Vice City because I'm recording a series on this and I had to figure out how to get this game to work um, so in order to make this work for Grand Theft Auto do it just as I just shown you and for other games maybe if you get like the pop-up message you need at least uh, DirectX 8 or DirectX 9 then just uh, enable the older things in the menu that I just showed you guys and it should work perfectly fine now I hope you like this video I hope you I could have been uh, I'm, I'm much of a help to you guys I hope you will enjoy playing older games I certainly do and if you like this video please hit that like button if you want to see more if you want to see more of my series please click the uh, subscribe button and on my channel there are a few playlists that you can check out for uh, other um, other playlists I do Minecraft videos I do well at the moment I'm playing Vice City that's why I decided to make this video because um, I wanted just wanted to share with you guys that uh, in order to be able to play older games like this you have to have direct play enabled and I'm just sharing this because I love you guys and because I um, I care about playing older games because they're awesome new games perfectly fine but older games they have this vibe to them that I just really love and that's why I like playing them and that's why I want to share the love with you guys so I'm gonna leave this here thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video